We're, we're seeing reports from all across the country and even overseas that uh, emergency departments and hospitals are bursting at the seams because of this year's flu outbreak. Canada-wide, there have been more than 11,000 reported cases this season. That's actually in line with expectations, but the impact across the country is uneven. Alberta has been battered twice as hard as it was this time last year. In Abbotsford, B.C., the nurses' union there described eight-hour wait times, patients parked in hallways and shower rooms because of the surge of admissions due to the flu. Winnipeg hospitals cancelled about 80 surgeries this week because of the demand for beds. And has Canada reached the peak flu yet? It's too early to tell. Fact is, this flu season has been unusual playing rope-a-dope with the healthcare system. As Christine Birak explains, two strains are bobbing and weaving their way through the country, arriving early, dodging the vaccine and hitting hard. The endless wait. A glimpse into what's happening inside some emergency rooms across the country. Hospital beds are full. Doctors and nurses are scrambling to keep up. This is all I'm seeing these days is flu, flu, flu. We <laughs> have so much flu. So we're heading into the lab and um, this is where testing is done. So it's not a pandemic year, but it is unusual. Instead of a single flu virus sickening people, right now there are two. One of them is H3N2. Doctors say it brings extra misery, especially for the elderly. We tend to see more severe seasons. We tend to see more outbreaks, more hospitalizations and more deaths. When a virus like H3N2 is floating around, its goal is to get inside you and start making copies of itself. Whether you become sick depends on how long it takes your immune system to recognize the growing number of invaders. If it's seen that virus before, it quickly sends in antibodies and you don't get sick. The flu shot tries to offer the immune system a preview of what to look for, but viruses mutate to avoid detection and... H3N2 tends to change a bit faster than other viruses. There's so much about influenza that we really don't understand. In fact, this year's flu vaccine should have protected people from H3N2. But the bits of virus that go into the shot are grown in eggs. And at some point in the process, the virus mutated. Still, experts say the flu shot offers some protection. There's emerging data to suggest that this might mitigate the severity of one's infection. So if you're going to get this sick from influenza, if you had the vaccine, maybe you'll only get this sick from influenza. Most people here would have preferred the latter. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto. Now, as we said, this powerful strain is no surprise. Public health authorities have been watching its approach for months now. H3N2 made a dramatic entrance early in the Australian winter, June 2017, sounding global alarm bells for the northern hemisphere winter to come. More than 230,000 people got sick. That's two and a half times the number the previous winter. A few months later, and few flu numbers are well above baseline in Europe and the UK. In the United States, nearly 33,000 cases have been reported so far. That is three times last season's number. 